Have you ever wished that there was a way where you could just get everybody to understand you the first time you said something? Or maybe if you could just better read people? Well, watch through to the end of this video because I think you'll find that the information here is just short of magic. What we'll be using today is the DISC assessment. What is DISC? It's an assessment that gauges personality traits and more specifically, how types of personalities communicate with each other. In practice, understanding your preferred style will allow you to better communicate with others. There are four types of communication styles. First being D for dominance. These people are often direct, results-oriented, firm, strong-willed, and forceful. When we think of this, we think Harry Potter. And these people are often characterized as being impatient and impulsive. Do magic outside school? Yeah, try me. I is for influence. These people are often outgoing, enthusiastic, optimistic, high spirited, and lively. They're often characterized as typically very talkative, upbeat, and distracted. And when we think of this, we think of Ron Weasley, as you can see in these clips. Eternal glory. It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Three years from now, when we're old enough to be chosen, you're gonna suffer. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna be happy about it. It's like a bird the way he rides the wind. He's more than an athlete. He's an artist. S is for steadiness. And these people are often characterized as being even-tempered, accommodating, patient, humble, and tactful. And when we think of these traits, we think Cedric Diggory. He was a people pleaser and wants to make sure that everyone's happy. Take it! You saved me! Take it! Cedric Diggory was, as you all know, exceptionally hardworking, infinitely fair-minded, and most importantly, a fierce, fierce friend. C is for conscientiousness, and these people are characterized as analytical, reserved, precise, private, and systematic. And when we think this, we think Hermione Granger. Knows the rules and always wants to follow the rules. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. Actually, I'm highly logical, which allows me to look past extraneous detail. Disc is a type of spectrum, and we'll all land somewhere on this map. And even though we'll usually have all four of these as part of our personality traits, it's common that will have a concentration in one or two specifically. Diagonal communication styles are often a little bit challenged to work with each other. So they need to learn to flex in order to be able to meet them where they're at. Take the I and the C, for example. Take care of myself. Down. He's way too old. What? What? That's what you think? <laughs> That's what I think. The next time you meet somebody, you can determine their disc style by figuring out whether or not they're outgoing or reserved. Outgoing people will be in the top half of the spectrum and the reserved people will be on the bottom half of the spectrum. Next, determine whether or not they're results focused or they're people focused. Results focused people are on the left side of the spectrum and people focused people are on the right side of the spectrum. That'll give you a good idea and a good indicator as to where they land on the spectrum. And then you can figure out how you can best communicate with this person. I hope this video gave you an idea as to how you might be able to better communicate with others. The DISC assessment can be found online at a few different websites, some for free, but the paid versions will also give you a very in-depth analysis of yourself. But if you know the basis of, as to how this works, it just helps out and gives you a common language to discuss communication styles with others. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions down below and check in next week to see what else we got.